So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit harder well. We're going to do MIG vertical with a single V prep. So first run settings are we're aiming for around 4 meters a minute and about 17 volts depending on your welding set. So we've got a 40 degree angle on our chamfer and we've got a root gap of about 1.5 millimeters. And we're aiming to get penetration into the bottom of that prep and through the other side. So the industry standard is penetration through the back should be no more than 10% of the material thickness. So on this we've got a 15mm thick plate. So our penetration should be no more than 1.5mm. So second run moving on. We've increased our voltage to 18 volts, And our wire speed's gone to 55 meters per minute all dependent on your welding sets again some people have got sets that haven't got the parameters on a lot of the older sets have literally just got numbers on a dial so it's just a case of finding a good setting on the set that you have welder skill comes into play as well some welders can handle more voltage just depends on your skill level so now we're working into a weave so we're doing a very slight pause on each side so that we're not undercutting the side walls trying to keep that weld nice and flat finished run done onto our third run so now we're weaving a little bit wider we've kept our volts and our wire speed the same and now you can see that the pool is being dragged across and it's cooling down as we're on one side the other side is cooling down giving us the ability to then keep that run as flat as we possibly can the trick is, is not to overload the centre of the run. Gravity is not your friend when you're a welder, as we all know. And all it wants to do is pull that molten pool towards the floor. So if we overload the centre of the weld, that's when we're going to get sagging and cutting into the sides. So, run done. Moving on to our flushing layer. Same principle, same technique. Slightly wider, we've kept our volts and our wire speed exactly the same. And as you can see, the technique is the same. We're just leaving it shy of the prep edge, which will give us two lovely distinct lines to follow when we put our cap in place. If we flush it too close to the edges of those, it makes it very, very hard to see. So run done. As you can see from the picture, we've got nice, flat, even ripples. And we can see both edges of that well prep, allowing us to follow the edges to keep that cap nice and straight. So onto our capping run, same technique, doing that slight pause either side, keeping that pull flowing all the way through the center, not overloading the center of the run. And we are literally just catching the edge of that prep and fusing it away, then building up so that this run is over flush. What we don't want to do is under flush and under fill this prep because that will actually fail a test. We need to get reinforcement onto the front face of this as neat as possible. So in this video, we have shown you an advanced MIG welding technique. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced welder, there's always something new to learn. On that point, why not check out our horizontal MIG welding video on screen now to widen your welding knowledge using a stringer bead technique on a horizontal 15mm butt weld. So finishing up here, weld complete, cheeky wire brushed, let's get rid of some of that scale and to end, that's job done. 